Thanks everyone for uh, coming along today and uh, obviously you, you know why you're here. I mean this um, uh, book is um, what we think is a wonderful document and a great history for our club. So uh, the production of Flying High has taken a, a fair bit of thought. Gary's done a lot of research with a lot of help from a lot of people to get this up. Um, obviously after 25 years of our history it was time to produce something that we thought was uh, a really good document of our of our past as we move forward. So I'd just like to open it up to any questions. Is it the 25 year team in there, is that, so is that the club official 25 year team more or less? Then? No, uh, Stocksy took the liberty to pick his own team for a change. Um, he made up his own match committee. <laughs> Look, it's, it's Gary's view and it was always going to be Gary's view because he's the author of the, the document. But certainly I think he took into account uh, a number of things when selecting that group of, of 25. And uh, obviously it's subjective, but it's also, he's taken some objective statistics and other things into view. And uh, he's come up, you know, pretty close, but it's gonna be, you know, uh, there'll be a lot of uh, disputes about who should be in and who shouldn't be in, I would think. Why now? Yeah, well, I think 25 years, it sort of, um, put the line in the sand, I guess, for um, celebrating our 25th year. We thought if we don't document everything now, it, it'll, um, it'll just drift along. And I think in the end, um, it probably gives the opportunity for us to highlight every player that's ever been on our list, rather than just go through the guys who've played. It, it highlights everyone. And that's taken a lot of research. Uh, a lot of those guys didn't even come over to Perth. They were listed and uh, just didn't make the journey. So we're really pleased with, with uh, all that work and, and uh, it has. I mean, it's going to be a very valuable document to the media, but it, it's certainly a good read for the diehard uh, Eagles fans. You've been there for most of the journey. I mean, stocks has got the, the biggest games of the club, the most significant. Is there one that sticks out in your mind that you, you dominate as this sort of pivotal moment of the 25 years? Oh, well, I think, I think when we were trying to win our first premiership, I think the 92 game, um, I think Gary highlighted in this, at, uh, in Hobart of all places, um, it was um, a pretty ordinary performance by us and uh, it sort of started, I think, the road to the, the first premiership. It was uh, a pretty hideous day for everyone who played on that day and, cert and certainly the staff as well. We didn't play well and uh, we were able to regroup after that, which, which forged a really good bond with the players. That really has always stuck out in my mind as the starting point for our success that year. Is it something the club will look to do every 25 years to mark a quarter of a century? Well, I'd hope so, Duff. I, I really hope that the club doesn't only just take in the, the first 25 years, but it, you know, over the next 10 years, there might be enough to build on for a book in another 10 years or or whatever. But I think uh, what we'd like to do, and I have to discuss this with Gary because it, obviously you guys know how much work has to go into something like this. Um, we would like to do a full history of the football club because there have been, um, there's been a 10 year book and there's been a, a couple of other documents that have been um, printed by others that aren't really factually correct. Um, we think there's some things that are missing that we should get right before it's too late. Often uh, you've seen clubs as they've grown, they haven't really recorded it in its best state. And I think what Gary's done here is a wonderful start to, to uh, depict the history of the club. And uh, it could have easily been lost because there's been a, a lot of ups and downs with the club. And um, I think once we really get the history together, it'll be, uh, be quite significant. And over that time, the most significant figure at the club, can you pinpoint one or two or three? I mean, obviously, Worcester is it, the Malt House, is it, probably yourself even. Well, uh, yeah, natural as me. Um, <laughs> no, I think the most significant um, person at the football club has been John. Uh, I, I don't want to embarrass Wush, but certainly over the 25 years, there's no doubt as the, the dual premiership captain and now premiership coach, but it's just his impact on the football club over that period of time. I think uh, John certainly has had that. Um, Mick certainly had a, a significant impact when he joined us. 
but we've also got, when you look at the quality of the players we've had on our list over that period, um, it's, it's uh, a great tribute to them. Uh, they've done a wonderful job for the club and we're very proud of what they've achieved. Who's the best player you've seen, Trevor? Well, everyone answers this in a, in a funny way, don't they? And I'll, I'll probably be the same. I mean, I, I don't think I could really pinpoint anyone to say they're, the, they're way out in front of somebody else. But I think probably pound for pound the best player's probably been Judd. You know, for, from a, um, a purely class and ability perspective and uh, you know if you, you th threw a blanket over them you'd say Cousins and Kemp and Matera and so on. I mean they're wonderful footballers. Jacko will be offended. Yeah, we'll put him in. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the really hard part about kind of picking your team comparing the years when footy's changed so much even that in that short period of time? Oh it's near impossible you know the, the changes between I think if um, I think Dwayne um, dropped out of the team 20, Dwayne Lamb dropped out of the team 20 for this one. But if uh, Dwayne was still running around now, I reckon he'd be one of the first picked. Um, he's, he was just a super player. So it just depends on the era. And it's very hard to compare how players stack up you know, 20 years on from when they were playing.